Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the review. This time is the Mezco 112 Collective Black Panther. So, let's get started. Uh, I want to start by saying, uh, yeah, this was delayed. I think this was expected way back in August. But as we know, Mezco is still a small company getting their things together. But the point is, we have it now. And I gotta say, Black Panther absolutely looks stunning on camera and much better in person. It's one of those things where you just don't get a full feel for it until you actually have it in hand. And I have very much enjoyed the figure. But, again... That's really going to be on you, whether or not you enjoy this, but I'm just going to be informative as I can be and try to help you guys decide on what you want to buy. So in the meantime, let me get started. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the helmet and how cool the helmet looks, how nice and detailed it is, and how I wish we had got a uh, black and purple uh, absorbing kinetic vibranium one, but we didn't, but still looks really, really nice. The amount of detail that goes into the helmet is exceptional. Along with the SHF, I think this one was actually nailed pretty well. I think this is a great head sculpt for an unmasked head. I'm sorry, for a masked head. And uh, it looks really wonderful. I, I really like it. Um, as far as the body goes, at first you kind of can't tell if the detail is there or not. But considering the suit design, I think they did a great job of nailing the accuracy and lining of the suit design. And I think maybe that's why it was delayed. But it is very seamless. I love the look of it and how seamless it is. It's one of those things that actually uh, it worked out as an actual figure with clothing. So the vibranium suit actually works. I think the only issue that I'm really having is with that of the necklace part of the figure. Um, the necklace part actually moves around with the neck, even though it is a separate piece. But I would have liked it if it actually stayed down. But it does move around a little too much for my liking, especially for small, sharp parts. I really wish it didn't do that, but that's kind of the, the gripe of the figure that you're going to get because uh, you want him to still have the range of mobility. So he does have the look, and that's that's nailed. So we don't have to worry about that. I think that's actually nailed pretty perfectly here. So now as far as articulation goes, actually, let me pull this up a little bit so you get a little bit of range so you can see the top of the head. Yep. So as far as head articulation goes, the head can look this far up, and I, it makes me want to mod it because I want him to be able to look more. So I even tried to like pull the back peg back a little bit. Can't get too much range going up, but he can look up. He can look down actually very, very well. He can tilt his head sideways for expression. And you have a full range of 360 degrees otherwise. So that's very nice. The arm articulation goes up really far, extending very easily. You can actually rotate it pretty well. See, no issues. And I think just like in Hot Toy, it just works out with this kind of suit. And I really do enjoy that. The hand has a nice peg, which goes up, down, and can rotate very easily. These do not rotate at the uh, wrist pegs, so that's a little bit of a downer, but it's not enough, you know, not enough to gripe over. As far as the ab crunch and ab torso articulation, so we can go about this far in for the first set. Then there is a little bit of the bottom articulation, which means you get a total of this much ab crunch going forward. You can rotate left and right very, very far. It's not as... Uh, the articulation is not as hindered as it would be on a normal Mezco that you get where the clothing actually uh, messes with the articulation. So you actually get a nice, great range. You actually can look, you actually, you can go actually pretty decently back too as well. So that's pretty nice. As you can see, it extends well going forward. The leg comes up about this far, goes back about this far. Again, this is all very nice and not hindered. And it's something that I very enjoy. The knees and the legs are double jointed. Again, there is no rotation here at the gauntlets of the legs. You have a very nice angle pivot, which is generous, especially for a Mezco. And you actually get a nice articulation. So again, it's one of those figures where you actually get a look, you get decent articulation. I think that this is a definite winner in choices. Now, as far as the Mezco body goes, the mold is a little bit more bulkier to go with uh, American proportions. So it's not gonna be for everyone. Some people may like the slimmer look of the SHF or maybe waiting later for the Mafex. So it's one of those things. But as you can see here, I was able to put them in a nice pose really decently, very easy. So next up, we're going to go with the head or the unmasked head. And I want to talk about that next because while it looks great, it doesn't look like Chadwick Boseman. I think it's a great head. I think it's a great sculpt. I think if they couldn't get the likeness, this is a very nice substitute. But if they were going for likeness, it was not nailed completely. Now, this is weird because considering they, they pretty much nailed Chris Hemsworth, I was hoping this one would have been nailed too, but unfortunately it wasn't. It is a good, it is a very good head sculpt, but just not Chadwick Boseman. 
So again, um, this is nice and you can make it work for yourself, but not Chadwick, at least not in my opinion. The likeness may be there with a touch up, maybe Miko or old boy can make it look like it, but it just doesn't work for me. Next up, as far as the weapons and accessories you get, you actually get a shield that has a spear attached to it. This does not come loose. And I know in pictures we saw it on the other hand, which is the left hand side, but it looks like it's met strictly for his right hand side. And there's a hand uh, that goes with that. So maybe if you don't want to put it through this, you could run it through his left hand side. Totally fine. But it's definitely meant for the right hand side as you actually put the arm through and you see it works there. I also did it for some photos. So I'm not going to swap it in now. Next up, you get a uh, shorthand spear. This has a very nice attachment to it. The detail that goes into the uh, designing of, I guess this would be the armament to it. I don't can't find the word to it. The handle. So the handle to it is very nice and nicely detailed. There's a piece of string and uh, nice feathers at the end. This is actually very nice. I like this a lot. Then as far as hand accessories, you get two relaxed palms with claws out. And that's the cool thing about the Mezco ones. Claws are already done out on all of them. They're done very well. The attention to detail in the hand is actually very nice and extensive too. So you get two relaxed palms. You get two hands for holding items, whether it's the spear or the shield or any other item that you want to put in hand. Just to give you guys a heads up, these are actually flexible, so you can actually take them out if you want to, uh, you know, run that a little loose. Then you actually have the claw hands, which are, the, you know, they're pretty much, these are the staple for Black Panther. Claws out, scratching, attacking, cleaning to things. This is what you want. These came out actually very nice. All in all, I like this Panther a lot. It is a nice addition to my Black Panther collection that I have tons of Black Panthers of. And is a very nice movie figure. I think the only downfall on this figure, in all honesty right now, would be the unmasked head and the losing of the range in the neck area. But otherwise, I think it's also a pretty solid figure. Fits in really well with Mezco's, uh, if you want to talk about Mezco movie stuff. It fits in really well with Mezco comic book stuff. And as far as other lines, I don't see it actually not fitting in with a bunch of other stuff as well. So, oh, I forgot to talk about, there's thigh swivel as well. I almost left that out and I apologize. But um, yeah, I like it a lot. It may not be for everyone because some people were definitely counting on the unmasked head. But this is a very solid, very nice piece to add to my Black Panther collection. So real quick, I'm going to jump into comparisons with the Marvel Legends Black Panther and the SHF Black Panther. Then we're going to jump into size comparisons. So here he is next to the Marvel Legends Panther. Here he is next to the SHF Panther. Do, 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 do. And all are very nice. They're all very, very nice and very solid. And they all stand about the same size. The Mezco is probably the biggest one and the bulkiest one, but they all have their thing. So if you are a lower end collector or you just enjoy the actual aesthetic of Legends, you actually can do the Marvel Legends one. If you are an SHF guy and you like the scale of SHF or you like the fact that Panther is big enough to fit in with Legends, this is also a great option. If you are a Mezco guy, you can totally do the Mezco Black Panther as well. All three are very solid and very worth it. There's no reason to even actually compare these. If you want and you can afford all three, I highly recommend it. All bring something different to the table that you can really enjoy. So next up, we're going to compare it to other lines. I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to compare it with the Legends of Koye. So you guys can see what she looks like scale wise, Dora wise as well and a Marvel Legends Killmonger. So you guys can see that these actually work pretty well with each other. The Killmonger is a tad bit taller, but I, I'm not sure if he was actually taller, so I can't remember, but I think it still works pretty well. And my photos will say otherwise. Okoye is actually smaller, just a tad bit. I like where this is going size-wise. Next up, we're gonna compare it to uh, an SHF. So let's talk about uh, SHF Kamen Rider. This is the Renewal line, and as you can see, they're a tad bit smaller. It's really nice, but smaller. Then we got Articulated Icons Ninjas. And as you can see, even Black Panther, the Mezco-wise, it doesn't look too small, doesn't look too big. I think the head actually looks the biggest, but it doesn't look too big size-wise. Next up, we got a 1,000 Toy Synthetic Human. And then we have, oop, drop something. Then we have a Mythic Legion's Orc. So 
So I think the orc is actually the biggest thing. But, uh, oh, actually, I want to compare it to some other Marvel figures very quickly so you can see some other size stuff. So here he is next to Cap. And I think he actually fits in pretty well. Cap's a little bigger for the SHF Marvel stuff, but I think he actually fits in well. And then there's a SHF War Machine. We didn't get the Mark IV yet by the time this comes out. So I think it scales pretty decently with all of them. So you can actually fit him on your shelf with everything. I like where this is going. It's a more streamlined for everyone to kind of cross stream and cross over their lines, which is pretty dope. And I like that. And just for giggles, I want to add in the Marvel Legends Killmonger. The uh, tactical suit, I guess. So yeah, all these scales actually work pretty well. I like them. I enjoy them. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed this. Most of all, I hope you found it informative. But as always, do good, be good. Drink your water, guys. Later.